So next we have a methodology and as shown in this particular flowchart, the layout of each of the cell needs to be exported as GDS files which will be used by the abstract tool to create cell descriptive part that is the second part of the left file. Next we need to create a technological description part of the left file and that is what is shown towards the right of your Virtuoso CIW window. Uh, and at the end we are going to perform the post processing where we try to add the technological part that is coming out of the Virtuoso tool and the cell descriptive part of the left coming from the abstract generator tool. So now let us try to break down this methodology into the following procedural steps. First is the creation of new technological library and then the creation of technology descriptive part or the header part of the left file and the third step is generating the cell descriptive part of the left file and then the final part is nothing but the post processing of the left file where we try to merge these two parts together with some modification to it. So moving to step number one the creation of new technology library. Before we generate either the technological part of LEF or cell descriptive part of LEF one has to create a new technology library uh, which is basically different from user defined library that we have created at the beginning of this lab. Okay, So also some might have a doubt of how this new technology library is going to be different from the existing GPDK 180 nanometer technology library. The answer to this question is that we are going to create a technology library that is basically a derived version of our GPDK technology library. The only difference is that it is bit modified such that it suits the requirement of generating our left file without throwing any errors during the process of generation. Also we will learn how a technology library can be created from a given ASCII technological file that has a .tf extension. So now, now let us see uh, how this could be done. So, so what you can do is basically this tech file.tf will be available under the home directory and you can copy that in your current working directory by making use of this command. And this is basically an ASCII file which has been modified and this helps us to create a new technology. So as shown in our CIW window we have to click on tools technology file manager and click on new and the rest I will show right now. As said my user defined library is basically DICD and I have those following gates that are that are satisfying the minimum requirement for the creation of standard cells. So now let us try to create a new technology library by clicking on this tool and then click on technology file manager and then click on new. Now let us try to define the new technology library as my gpdk 180 okay so which is something that is different from the gpdk or the original gpdk 180 technology library and this is my user defined library and we are again creating a technology library from an ascii technology file okay so i've just given this name and let us try to click on this browse and i could find the tech file in my current working directory so select that and click on choose and then click ok so it says that it has been loaded successfully so click on close now the next step is to reattach the user defined library to our newly created technology library so for which click on this tool and then click on technology file manager and then click on attach and you could be able to see that this design library is basically pointing to 
GPDQ 180 technology library and this has to be changed to this newly created GPDK 180 and click OK. So now let us try to generate the header part of the lib file. This is pretty easy to, to do it. So click on file, export and then lib. So now in this we need to provide the lib file that we wanted to generate. So uh, let me give a name which is gpdk tech dot lib. Okay. And then choose the library name as TICD, which is nothing but the design library. And then you can click on OK. So you might have some warning, but you can ignore them. So just click OK. And that completes step number two.